Are you hungry? Don't touch my son! Oh my god! Here you go. Oh my god! Oh ma'am! Oh, oh, ma oh, no, shut the f up! I'm not talking to my brother! I don't want to talk to you! Talk to my I'm not that perfect! Damn. I ain't saying you perfect, but you gotta take accountability now. Yes, that's why I'm in the car right now. Exactly. On April 15, 2024, officers receive a call about a disturbance at a Taco Bell. When the officers arrive, they speak with the manager, and he proceeds to tell them he would like the black male in the white tee trespassed. But he isn't the one going to jail in this episode. Okay, so you want him trespassed from the property? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's going on, man? What's going on, bro? Eat, eat. He has a eat. I told him just go ahead and eat. And if you make it All right. Up, do you know him? Who is he to you? That's my cousin. Oh. Alright, your cousin? Yeah. Literally, like blood related. Blood. Okay. okay. What's his first name? Tyron. Tyron. Tyrus. Spell it? What's your last name? Ty, come now. Ty, what's your last name? Oh, He's Tyrus. My son is Tyrus. Okay, what's his last name? What's your last name? Gold. You say gold. Gold. Gold? Come down. Come now, eat, eat. You better eat because if you go to jail right now, uh uh. If they decide to take you to jail, you're going to be hungry. What's your date of birth? Come now. When were you Cause, born? Cause. Come now. When were you born? You know his date of birth? He's high. Oh my goodness. Because, listen. What 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 date of birth gonna get him? Pocket season. Ain't no damn pocket season. Don't say that. Oh my mama. Stop it. Stop. Look at me. Tyrus Gold. Date of birth? Stop it. No. Let me see. Tyrus. Tyrus. No? Let me see. Tyrus. Stop it. It's spelled like that. Look at me. Right. I'm gonna go yes. put him in RMS. And see yes. Please don't. <laughs> like, no, no handcuffs until you eat something. Okay, well, th listen, they want him trespassed from this property. Oh, snap. Cause, you want to go to jail or you want to walk? You, I didn't bought you the damn <laughs> taco. You didn't What's your date of birth, Tyrus? Huh? You thinking of that? He's such an asshole. <laughs> I think I remember you. From? Your face. Um, division. I had a situation, maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. Tyrus, what's your date of birth? Uh, what's your date of birth? You bet on. Time to go be. Cuh. Come on. Uh, uh, nope. What? Sit back. Don't. What's your date of birth? Sit what's your date of birth? Right back down. Come what's on, your date of birth? Let's get through what? this. They What's your date of birth? They just want to make sure you're straight. Cuz. All right. Don't worry about it. All right, Tyrus. Just to know, if, if you come back to this property, you're subject to arrest. You're such a good heart. Tavares. He's walking off. Ty, no, he's going to check on the cut. On body camera. Come now. Tyrus. Uh huh? He's not on our best. Tyrus, Tyrus, and Tuckett. But everybody would have tied LT. Bring your stuff. Tyrus, just to let you know, if you come back to this property, you're going to be subject to arrest under trespass warning. He just got nice. Three, three. Oh. But, uh, what's your name? Let's keep riding you. What's your name? The officer stays with the mother of the two children for a little while longer before leaving the premises, but the night doesn't end there for this officer. Yeah, I, it, it's never personal. No, I don't no, know, I like, because he's very yeah, animated. And if you could, I don't know, but from what I, I, I can see him. If you see, a, like, a thing, there's, a, like, a movement, mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, he already left the property, so we're good. That's why. Yeah. Oh, bet, but yeah. the seal just, just, you know, God forbid, if anything happened, right. it should be still, you know, recorded that he left the property, but. Yes, he left the property. He also. There's nothing for us to do. The, look at the. Go. Go see you. Go. You stuck, too. Oh, jump. Just make goodness. sure. Jump down. Just make sure you hit the. Uh, the touch the ground with your teeth. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? All right, mind you. Okay. All right, my my go. Hold on, you leaving? Yeah, we're we're good. I mean, he's gone. Okay. That's why I'm here. So hold go on. go attend to your kids Mommy, and go home. Hold on, hold on. Hold go, on. Yeah, yeah. No, Come go on. go attend to I'm your sorry, kids. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to. Yeah, go attend to your kids. We're Come we're on. good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So Have a good one. Shortly after the officer gets in his car and starts exiting the Taco Bell. The mother of the two children who was later identified as Tammy Gooden jumps in front of his car. Tammy was not happy with how things ended and called the officer a bitch. She then demanded an apology while slurring her words. The officer asked her to move out of the way and go to the sidewalk where her children were but she refused. He then steps out of the car and asks her to move out of the way several times and after she refused once again, she was then placed in cuffs. Unfortunately, the officer's body camera was off as he was already done with this situation and was not expecting things to escalate, but the Taco Bell security did witness the entire incident. Here is her explanation on what just occurred between Tammy and the officer. What'd you see? What'd you observe when we were here? Well, I observed her. She was assisting us with a guy that we had a problem with. I was almost her cousin. She was a, a help to us, and then... I'm not sure when the other officer, she asked the other officer a question, I walked away, but okay. then when he went down there to speak to her, uh -huh. um, I don't know, something went left. She started, um, something went left between the, the conversation, I don't okay. know what was said, but then we came up, um, she had her kids, uh, they, the kids walked off to the side, I asked them to come out the road so okay. the other cars can come by. Yep. And um, that's when you guys had the altercation with her. Okay. What was she? Was she standing in front of our vehicle? No. Not yeah, willing. Not she willing. was trying to. Um, yeah, I guess she was uh, in front of the walkway. I mean, in front of the, the cars where you guys can't okay. get by. Yeah, and she was she was unwilling to move after we asked her multiple times. Yeah, she's upset. She's just upset. No. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah. Was she during this time? Was she acting belligerent? Like, was she acting? She's around here all the time. Uh -huh. She's her kids, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she's where she's normally not a bad person. She's okay. normally a, a help to us. Yeah. You know, what but she time. but tonight she was tonight, acting. Tonight I don't know what happened. She was helping us at first and then when the ha the conversation happened then that went left. So okay. I don't you know what I'm saying? I don't know what transpired between yeah. that because she's normally okay. okay. But the, tonight is what I'm saying. She tonight, was acting oh, erratic tonight, kind, of, kind of happened. kind of a flip switch. Yeah, yeah, she was helping us at first she and then something, something happened. She, flipped. She, and she wouldn't get from her phone. The car. And she yeah. went in front of the yeah. car. And did did the police offer multiple times for her to move out of in front of the car? Yes. Okay. Yes, and, we, we did. But she she was upset about something. So I, you know, okay. yeah. But yes. Okay. Um. Do you have anything to add to this statement? Um. She's normally a good person. She's out here with her kids. She normally help us out. No, she's, it's just something that upset her. Yeah, so I got you. She's okay. Stable. The lieutenant arrives on the scene and begins to speak with the children, but Tammy was not very happy about that. Hey guys, are you hungry? No? Are you hungry, little man? Are you hungry? Don't touch my son! Hi there, I'm Lori. Don't touch my son, so I, I, Could you pick up his side for me? Yeah, yeah would you mind? Would you go inside with her? We'll take care of your mom, okay? We'll take care of your mom, okay? He is on my wheel. And, I'm sorry, ma'am. Hi, I'm Lori. How are you? I'm, you know what? I'm medium. I'm not even. Uh, yes, please report that. Yep, I'm gonna. Um, my children are not feeling the best. Okay. Simply Let's talk about you. What's in your bra there? What you mean? Paper right there. Mm -hmm. Put her down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I ain't never had no goddamn <laughs> Who put it in me? Oh, somebody I'm, touched me. Uh, I have it. I'm sorry. I have some oh, money. somebody touched me? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to you Y'all some nasty mother. Look, at, look, look me hey, up. I'm worried about how you're acting right now around your kids. 
I want to make sure they're safe and uh, you're safe. If you're walking in front of a, one of my moving cars here, it means you're not safe. I'm walking in front of a moving car right now. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to take whatever's in here, okay? Find it. Whatever they put. They put it in there. It's this. I ain't never had no damn nothing. She's going to try to get out. She's going to what? She's going to try to get out. That's fine. No, I'm not finna try to get out. What are you talking about? I ain't never had nothing. I'm gonna dress you, okay? All right, so listen to me. Yes, ma'am. Let's try and resolve this, okay? Okay, I'm gonna talk to the officers. Put your feet in here. I'm gonna talk to them real quick, and then I'm gonna come back and I talk to you. I not with my feet in. I wanna wait till my brother get here to put my foot in, only for safety purposes. Okay, I'm recording you, and you don't have that option. Come but on, we're busy. Put your feet in. Where's my brother? Where's my brother? Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. No, no, no. I'm not Please gonna hurt you. Listen, we're not going to do this. Where's my brother? We're Please. not going to do this. Where's my we're brother? not going to do this. Can somebody call my okay. brother? Put your feet Please. in the car now. Please. Put your feet okay, in the car now. I'm going to hobble Please. you. Put your feet in the car. Put your feet in, Put your feet in the car. Put your feet in the car. Please Come on. call my brother. We're not, we're not I, I want to know if he's on the way. Hey, just throw that out. Ow, 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 ow. I'm in handcuffs already. Let's pull it. Let's pull it. I'm, I'm trying to. Where's Let's my brother? Put your feet Please. in the car. While the lieutenant tries to calm the kids, Tammy's brother's girlfriend arrives on the scene. Hello, just give us one second. Just one second, one second. So, um, just so you understand that um, their mother is drunk. Yeah. And I was trying to leave after dealing with some property or whatever. And she stood in front of my car. I told her many times to get, it, get out of the car because I got to go. And I keep telling her to go to children. She's acting all wild. I have my supervisor over here, the lieutenant. You can speak to her. Um, I understand that you are not blood related, right? No. So I'm not sure. I don't know if the lieutenant is okay with releasing. Yeah, the, her, yeah, but yeah, because we need, I yeah, we, closer. yeah, so yeah. we need a uh, blood related. Oh, okay. Because you know, so unfortunately, he should be not too far. Cause I just got right. the phone with okay, him. Okay. I was closer. Um, so. do you have? Do you know what's her name? Yeah, Tammy. Yeah. Tammy. 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 Right. Yeah. So I didn't want to do this. I really didn't. I gave her several options, several opportunities to leave to uh, get away from my vehicle. Right. As there was another vehicle stopping, you know, right behind right, me, and right, I'm trying to right. leave. So she would not allow that. Right. It's wild. And, I, and you know. Yeah, right. Are they homeless or. No. Where do they live? Not too far over here. I'm not for sure the address, but mm -hmm. not too far. Over not here. too far. Okay. Uh, what's what's her name? Tammy. T a m m i e. Gooden. Gooden. Yes. G o o d e n. D e n g or d n? No, d e n. D e n. Good and then den. No, no, no. G o o d e n. D e. Okay. Good then. Good then. Do you know her date of birth? No. no. You have a, you, she has a middle initial, you know? I don't know. No? Okay. And what's your name? My name is Shanice. Shanice S-H-N-I-S-E. Yes. -S -S -E. N? N-I. S-H-N? S-H-N-I. N-I. S-E. S-E. Yes. Last name? Ward. W-A-R-D. We're just going to make sure she's okay. Okay? And we'll make sure you're okay, too. What's your date of birth, Miss Shanice? Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, sorry about this. Yeah. Hey, uh, LT? 
Okay. That's the uh, aunt. Okay. But not blood related though. Is, is not that the what? Okay? Not blood related though. Okay. But are they good to leave with yeah. them? Or? Hi. How are you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, your uncle? Hey, how you doing? Okay. You mind if I speak to you? Yeah. Um, one moment. That's my lieutenant, by the way. Okay. So just so you understand, yeah, listen, I'm not, I was not trying to arrest her. Just so you understand. That was not, not my intention here. She brought that on herself. She got involved with someone. Well, yeah. But, and, and initially she was helping out. Uh, I guess there was a Tyro. Tyro Tyrus Gold? Yeah, she was saying, oh, that's my uh, brother, uncle, whatever. And, and we, we, us police, responded to him right. causing a uh, disturbance in here. Right. Right? Um, we dealt with it, and she somewhat helped us, and all right, cool, we leave. So I come back here. Um, I, I guess she called me back over there, and then I'm like, all right, what's going on? He's like, oh, he's right there. He's hiding. And I'm like, where man where do you see it i'm like oh are you recording well like I, I don't need to record right now i told her because there's like nothing out there right and i'm like well can you please record so that I, i'm like okay fine i'll record and i'm like ma'am i don't see anybody there. oh well he just ran off i'm like okay so then i come back I, I i'm about to leave she stands in front of my vehicle preventing me from leaving and i'm like ma'am can you please leave and she stayed not not like this not like this far away i'm talking about like right like, like this and i'm like ma'am Please she leave. Been she's been drinking. So she's drunk. So that's the thing. She's drunk and with the kids. And then I'm trying to get her information. She doesn't want to give it to me. Right. Then I, I, you know, the kids are being uncooperative. Of course, I get it. Right. You know, the the mother's resisting, and we're trying to put her inside the car. Right. And she's like, somewhat, you know, you know, yeah. So, like like I said, I was trying to avoid this. I don't want to, you know, especially with her with ha having kids. Right. But you know, so oh, you want it unlocked? Yeah. So yeah, you can speak to my lieutenant. I'm gonna talk to your brother. But I don't want to talk to you. Would you like your kids no. to go with your brother, or would you like us to call DCF? Call who you want. No, I'm saying, would you like your kids to go? Would you like your kids to go with your brother, or DCF? You, my brother. Okay. If you don't answer me, we will you, have to release your brother. kids. Okay. I said what I said. She like this often? <laughs> okay. Poor kids though. They gotta. It needs to be a little more stable. No? Okay. No worries. And uh, do you have ID on you, sir? Yeah. No. But yeah, like, like I said, uh, I, I apologize, you know, no, I, I wish this went a different way, and, you know. Does she constantly drink or get drunk or whatever? Sadly, yeah. Yeah? And this, this may have contributed to her downfall right now, because I'm yeah. like, come on, man. But yeah, um, I'm gonna speak to my lieutenant and see, cause I'm sure you're good with taking the kid, but I don't know, right. so I have to make sure. That's why she's out here. Yeah, I called her out here so that she can kind of assist a little bit with this situation. Okay. You know. But uh, again, I'm sure you're able to take the kids. Oh yeah. Uh, Address to uh, Tamia? Is that her name? I don't know. I don't know the address. Um, Tammy. Tammy Gooden, right? Yeah. Do you know her date of birth? Uh, May 24. May 24. Yeah, I mean, you have the security officer here who witnessed the whole thing, and right. yeah. I mean, it's clear that they came here to for Taco Bell because the kids have food. But. A member of the Department for Children and Families then arrives to check out the situation. Mm -hmm. Sir? Hi, I'm Mark. Right. Tell me. I'm Thank you guys for coming out. Um, we just want to make sure she's okay and the kids are okay. I'm, I'm concerned about the kids' safety, obviously, and um, with her behavior. Are you familiar with any of like her mental health diagnosis or anything? Yeah, so I know... Okay. 
Because she would, what happened when she was out of meds initially. And yeah. Then she just got back on them, but then she drinks. So, yeah, with the two, the dual diagnosis, I'm sure the drinking and the meds. Um, does she have insurance? She. Or will she cooperate when she's sober? Like, can you have a conversation with her? Typically, she does when she's sober. Okay. So there is um, a great resource over on 45th Street at the health department there. Um, it's called the Community Care, mm -hmm. and it's the health department. Mm -hmm. They have a new program there that actually helps with outpatient now, and they'll fill your meds right there, which a lot of places don't, and that's like something, I, I don't even know if the officers know about it yet because we're literally in the infancy of this program. Right. We just had some meetings with the chief right. there, but it might be a really good starting place if we could get her over there. Yeah. because. I, I mean, I, my heart breaks for the kids to see this, that they're growing up like this. It's not safe for them. It's not, you know, a safe environment. Um, we'll call DCF. I tried to get her to tell us it's okay to have the kids go with you. Um, if you can have her tell me that, um, I, I think then we're fine. We can do that. We just can't place kids. So, yeah, as long as you do that, we're going to bring her over to the jail with a misdemeanor. And we're gonna we'll just put the window down because she was trying to kick us earlier. You can talk to her, just... So, you gonna let them okay to, for me to take me and Butter? Mm-hmm. Is it okay for... You gotta get on okay for me to take me and Butter I'm going to jail? Yeah. What well, I'm going for? Disorderly. It's a misdemeanor. You got court tomorrow. Yeah, she got court tomorrow. Well, perfect. Let's try and get that taken care of, okay? I got to court in jail, right? Okay, well, they'll know that. You can tell the judge in the morning and they'll try and sink the cases for you, okay? It was a custody case. Okay. They'll try and sleep them. Ma'am, this this yeah, was yeah, all right. But, but what we'd but like I'm to do sorry. is place I'm the kids with your right. with your brother so they're safe. Right. I'm so sorry. You gotta stop drinking so much. No, it, it, you gotta you know what's happening today, so I get what you're saying. Yeah. Because Brittany called you or talked to you earlier, so but we but, you know? I know she texts you, but we ain't gonna talk about that because I don't wanna get you more upset, mm -hmm. but you yeah, just, I was just, yeah, just give them an okay for me to take me and Bud. Yeah, I'm going to be on my school. Okay. okay. Are you going to be able to try to come to the court? Meeting? He's going to have to I, bring your kids to school. I can't. I can't go. The go. Tam Tammy. Tammy. See, that's what. That's why you in a car not. At this point, I already got a choice. Okay, so what, you going to make it worse? Y'all know no. how to. You don't know how to stop when you in here? Sometimes people say bad things, okay? But you going to make it worse. You want to go stay with your aunt and uncle tonight? Yeah? You wanna go stay with your aunt and uncle tonight? Come here. Okay. Spend the night over there? Does that sound like fun? I don't know what she said. What did she say I was just only for? You gotta understand. Tammy, you were standing in Tammy, you was standing in front of a car. Why? Why was why was they bothering you? No, why were you standing in front of the car? Why was they bothering you? No, Tammy. First of all, this ain't had nothing to do with you. Whoever, Tyrone, Tyrese, whoever the f is, you should have let them handle that. You should have got your kids and went home. That's it. I was trying to. And then you didn't know. They didn't tell you all the details when the other police started coming at me and making me look like the damn. Okay, but then you could have just said, look, I ain't got nothing to do with this. And you keep going. I'm trying. I'm not Not perfect. when you stand in front of the car, Tammy. I'm not perfect. Damn. I ain't saying you perfect, but you got to take accountability. No? Yes, that's why I'm in the car right now. Exactly. So ain't nothing you can do now. So let's just get the... No way. No, no, no. Don't say that. Just let me... Ain't nobody holding against you. You just acting in the fire. Y'all will be on the man. Y'all will be on the man. I said, y'all. Y'all will come. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Learn how to hurt. You got to hurt. You got to hurt. You got to control your mouth. It's okay. She'll, she'll be okay. All right? Your mommy's safe, okay? She's safe. Okay. You guys ready to go? Ready? I don't think they ate yet, so they have, they they have, they have it there. Uh, do we get your address and everything? Yeah, you got it. Okay, and then I told them, I said, we have to notify DCF, so they'll probably be calling you guys okay. um, within 24 hours just to check on placement. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. You ready to go? Did you want to go get that sticker from my car? Yeah? Come on, let's walk over to my car. Come on, buddy. Thank you for your help. All right, thank you. Okay, excellent. Y'all don't have another bag. Well, 
Come on. We're gonna run over to my car. Come on. I'm gonna get you a sticker. Come on, buddy. I might have the ones with the dogs on them. Oh, let me see. Wait, I have to check the other side because my son might have taken them. Let me see. Let's go over here. Ah, I found them. Here we go. Okay. You want a drink? I have a Gatorade. Yeah? What color do you like? Three flowers. Which one? I have red, orange, or um, yellow. Which one? Yellow. Yellow? What kind does your sister like? You want to pick one? What kind? I don't have blue. I have red, orange, and yellow. Which one would you like? For your sister. You think she wants a red or orange? Orange? That's the one my son likes. Here's some stickers, okay? One, two, one for you and one for your sister, okay? I just left Sam's a little while ago, so I had some Gatorades in my car. Come on. You're good, buddy. He picked you the orange one from my car. Is that okay? You like orange? Oh, you got a yellow just because it matches your shirt? No, that's right. Is that one? Is that one? You okay? All right. Have you been going to school lately? What's your favorite subject? Art. Oh, really? Okay. Are you creative? Mm -hmm. What kind? Painting or drawing? Everything. Painting? Everything? 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 Okay. What about you? What's your favorite subject? Who do you like the best about school? Do you like math? Yeah? Are you going to share one sticker with your sister? That was nice of you. Tammy was then taken to the county jail where she was charged with disorderly intoxication and resisting an officer without violence. Three days later, the Department for Children and Families had a member go to the school that Tammy's son attends to get a little more information on how his life at home is. Before we get started, why don't you do me a favor, do like this, and then do like that. Yeah, and then let me see your legs, I'm trying to see if you got bruises. Yeah, see. What's all these little cuts? You just fall down? No, it's just one. Okay, that makes sense. You're a grown boy. Let me see your other one. Perfect. And then could you raise your shirt up just a little bit so I can see your little stomach? Perfect. And turn around and see your back. Very good. You know what I was doing? What? I was checking to see how big you are. And you pass. You got muscles. You're pretty, pretty muscly. You're six. You're six? I thought you were like ten. No, I was five. At first I was five, then I just took six days. You are, you, you are tall. So there was a situation that happened the other day, and you were with your mom, I think, and you were walking. Where were you walking to? We were at Taco Bell. You're at Taco Bell. What happened there? One of my cousins. What's his cousin? name? Tyrese. Cousin Tyrese? And what, yeah. and what about him? He was in the store. And he was in what store? Taco Bell Okay, store. he was in Taco Bell. Okay. And what happened? And when he came, like, oh, when my mom bought food for him and us, he started yelling at us and saying, give me my food. Even though my mom had to use the bathroom and my sister was sitting and my mom said, not yet, they didn't give me food yet. Mm -hmm. It was still yet. So did he stay or did he leave? He left. He 
Yeah. And then after when the police was there. So was he there when the police showed? Who called the police? Um, the Taco Bell people. Taco Bell called the police? And why Taco Bell called the police? Because my cousin, Therese, he's actually homeless. In the store having a okay. So Taco Bell called the police yeah. and the police showed up. Then was Ty Tyrese there or did he leave? He was there and then he left. Did he get to talk to the police? Did Tyrese get to talk to the police? Yes. Okay. And then, uh, and then he, when he when our mom gave him when our mom gave him one burrito, he got another one, and then he must, and he had what? What did you say? Burrito. So your mom gave him a burrito when he left, Then, but the police showed up. So then what happened when the police showed up? They talked to him, and then he left, and when the police was still there talking to the Taco Bell people and about to leave, our mom came in front of one of the police's car. So what'd she do? She just stand in front of it? Yeah. Okay. And she was talking. And then when the police put her in the car, one of the police um pushed pushed for me. And then my sister said, Don't push my mom like that. I will throw throw this water down the door. So the police pushed her in the car? Yes. And your sister said she's going to throw water on him? Yeah. What? Did she do it? No. Okay. She was like, about to do it. And then one of the black police officers were like, okay, okay. So how many police officers were there? There were four officers. Four officers were there? Okay. How many cars? Um, the size cars because one of the girl police came. A girl police came? Yeah, it was like a security girl police. Uh -huh. Security police. So security police were there too? Yeah. Okay. And that was a woman? Yes. What was she doing? She was talking to me and she said, it's okay, your mom is just going to get some rest. Were you upset? Yeah, I was crying. Were you crying? And on the rocks and hitting my head on the floor. Wait, 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 you were, you were throwing rocks and doing what? Hitting my head on the floor and kicking the floor and screaming. So you're throwing a tantrum? Like one of those. Stones. Like, yeah, flat. like a pebble? Yeah. Do you do that often? Only sometimes when I see them. When you see who? The little rock things do you, in my Do you get upset often? Like, do you cry a lot? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you always kick the ground when you're sad? So let me ask you about your mom. How was your mom acting? Like, what was she doing? Was she upset? Was she yelling, screaming? What was mommy doing? They kept pushing her. And then Who's they? The police officers and then my mom. She was crying. But how's your mom acting? Is your mom screaming? Is she is she yelling? Is she just standing here? What's your mom doing? She was in the car. She was talking. She was in what car? The police car. Did she get in there easily, or did they have to push her in there? How they did pushed she, her. they push her in there? She wouldn't get in. After they pushed her, she was she was in. So, how did you get there? Did you drive there or take a bicycle? Walked there. You walked to Taco because Bell? It's close to the okay. 
So when you were walking to Taco Bell, was your mom, did she have anything in her hand? Was she eating or drinking anything? She, she was what was she drinking? Tammy's son says he sees his mother drinking an energy drink called Crazy Horse about two or three times a day. Crazy Horse is a malt liquor which comes in a can and glass bottle. Energy drink. What's, what's the name of those things? Crazy horse. Crazy horse. You've seen those before? Those energy drinks? Yes, when I'm huh? Yes, when I'm we'll pull up a picture. Now, how many does she drink? Like three or uh, two twice a day. I can't hear you because that train. How many? Three or two twice a day. Do you see her drinking them? What color is the can? It's yellow, um, golden with a horse on it, and How do you know the name of it? Because one of somebody said at a food store by a house, they said, can I get this crazy horse? That's where she buys them? Does it look like that? Yes. That's what it looks like? But the new one. What, what do you mean the new one? It didn't have like a 24, but it just had the horse running. Is there a different picture? No. But you know that's the name of it? And she said they're energy drinks? Yeah. You ever seen her drink anything else? And sometimes when she takes her vitamins, yeah, those. It looks like that. Bigger. Let's take a picture of that, honey. Yeah, and sometimes when she's yeah. taking her pills, she drinks water. And she drinks water with her pills? Yeah, and cold water sometimes when she's not in. But this is what it looks like? That's the, what the can looks like? Yes. Yeah. So when mom drinks these energy drinks, when she drinks these, does she act funny? No, does she, she like just, slur her words or she gets sleepy. Or? She gets a little sleepy, but she but in the mornings when she drinks it, she gets more energy. Like energy to walk to school or walk to the park. Does she, does she drink a lot of them? How many do you think a day? Uh, probably two or three. Two or three? Well, earlier you said she drinks three or two twice a day. Yeah. Is that right? You see her drinking them? About an hour later, they arrive at Tammy's house, where she gets to say her side of the story after hearing the police report on what happened that night at Taco Bell. How are you guys? Fine. What's your name? What's your name? My name's Josh. Thank you. I mean, no, you can come on professional dog kind of business to say oh, your name. I'm professional. Doing? You know me. Yeah, we good. Oh, and it's like, look at you. Oh, oh, you, you met me. Oh, no, I haven't. Yes, you have. When we met each other. About three years ago. Think you, about you, it. You, you a goddamn liar. Nope. All of us look the same. Y'all know me. I don't. What? We all look the same. That's no, I, I say that to people all the time. Nah, no. Bro, we met you on Manning. 
Yeah. Yo, Eli, Eli. Sometimes y'all don't even know. No, y'all most people know me. Is this anybody I'm looking for? Yes, I believe. Is this anybody I'm looking for? Back. Who are you looking for? I'm looking Dang. for Tamia. Tamia? No, I'm looking for Tammy. Okay. Tammy. Tammy yes. This is she. Girl. Oh, Lord. Yeah, to me, it's like, yo, Lord. I don't know you to have to. Yo, look. But we yes. got to be, we got, you know, people's yes, lives involved. Yeah. What? Yeah. Give me a check. I don't want to talk all your business. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. No worries. I'm going to go to lock my, my house door. Sure. Give me like 30 much. seconds. Okay, so let me read the allegation to you, and then we'll go over all the information like that. Are you nervous? Don't be nervous. <laughs> huh? It is really nervous. So here's the here's the allegation I'm gonna read to you. The mother had a strong had a smell of strong alcohol odor emanating from her breath as she spoke. The mother's cousin, Ty, Tyrus Gold, was being trespassed from the property by management. She was accompanied by her two children, Tamia and Tyran. Tyran? Tyran? Tyran. Tyran. The mother alerted the police and asked them to return her to the rear of the property as her cousin Gold, had been tres had, who had been trespassed, had returned. Gold was not seen anywhere. The mother appeared in front of the patrol vehicle and stated she was unhappy with them and that they were a bitch. He stated she would not move and she wanted them to apologize. The mother was showing signs of being under the influence of alcohol while in front of the patrol vehicle. The mother was slurring her words, being aggressive, irate, and not verbalizing complete sentences. She was advised to move from the front of the vehicle several times and told to be with the children who were on the sidewalk. The mother made no attempts to leave the front of the patrol vehicle. She was asked several more times to leave the front of the patrol vehicle. The mother refused and when they attempted to place her in handcuffs, she tensed both arms and refused to let them place handcuffs on her. She kept pulling away, refusing to get inside of the patrol vehicle after she'd been handcuffed. She refused to allow them to close the door as she kept placing her feet outside the patrol vehicle. It took three officers to place the mother in the patrol vehicle. The mother at first hoping the security of the plaza with an angry customer okay, and she was perfectly the fine. First so the mother was at first helping the security okay. of the plaza with an angry customer and she was perfectly fine. When police arrived on the scene in reference to another call, the mother flipped a switch and became erratic towards police. Security helped the children out of the road and onto the sidewalk. The mother began to act belligerent and refused to move out of front of the patrol vehicle and let the police leave. The mother was arrested and charged with one count of disorderly intoxication and one count of resisting arrest without violence. The mother has a drinking problem and she does not take Maternal uncle arrived to take custody of the children. He resides in Montana. The children will, will be with him at his residence. Okay? okay? So now I want to talk about what happened to Taco Bell. Okay. So let me get my folder together so I don't lose Good any papers. How much? Uh, uh, maybe because um, uh, nothing. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know in the law of. Well, in the Bible, it states that, or even in science, for every one thing wrong, you have to have seven things positive to negate it. I don't know if you knew that, but so <clears throat> for the one, I'm, I was listening to you because I, I never heard this version of the story. You know what I mean? So I'm replaying it just as you are. I'm just thinking like, hmm. So. The one positive thing you said that I was trying to help security get somebody out of the that was only one. So, so I didn't write this report. So let me, no, no, no. Let me I know just it wasn't like, you. No, no. Yeah, just, let, me just, just let me just let That's you know how this to... works. Because right. what happens is somebody makes an allegation. It's my job to come out and determine are your kids safe in your care. That's my right. job, right? My job is to determine are these children that live in this home safe in your care. Right. His job is to determine if there's any criminality. Okay, so we okay. have two separate investigations. Okay. okay, so one thing I want to do, and I like to, if, and I want you to think about, is submit submit to a, to a drug test, and we're going to talk about like your drinking and what led up to it and, and all of that. Okay? okay, so what I want to do, I first want to start off with spelling of your name. T a m m i e, good e n. Birthday. 
you know, and I'm not really here to do a criminal investigation because that already took place. Yeah, okay. and it already has uh, already By, by law, we have to show up to every right, DCF no, no, call absolutely. with DCF it. because of a... I, I fully understand and it's because that happened God like forbid something bad. Yeah, it's happened. So now, children, yeah. So for me, so, so more so right now, it's more so that I'm here for her safety right, right, and just making sure, like like she said, to help make sure that right, you have right, everything you need, the kids. Right, I don't know right, what happened right, the other night besides the report. I read through it real quick. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm not right, here to judge so by any means or any of that. Thank you. I appreciate but that. That goes a long way. we're just here. I'm here so for her course, and to help make sure the kids got everything they need. You know, yeah, I don't really think there's any criminal because I spoke to those kids. Okay, I'll just throw that out there right. now. Thank you. Um, no, I saw your kids. Yeah. They're amazing. And They're amazing. they both they both spoke very highly of you. They love you. Okay. Um, I keep your family together and I'm here to support them. Okay. And that's why it's really important for you to try to cooperate with me. Oh, absolutely. To the best, to the best of my ability. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. I understand that. So let's already, um, I'm not sure if you were made aware of it. I'm pretty sure hopefully by now they told you that um, that same day I missed the court date, which is the fraternity court. So unfortunately. For your dog. Yes. Yeah, so, because you were in jail. Right. Right. And so now he has one hundred percent custody. Wife. Yes. So this is, you know, it's a lot for a human, just a regular one yeah. person, a single mother who has amazing children, has done everything to the best of my ability and then to be, you know, kinda of ran through the mud as a normal individual when even in the thing it says I was literally trying to help someone. Yeah. Does it say that I, I did everything correctly? No. And, it right. doesn't say that. And I don't but, I don't want you to, to leave out of here thinking anyone's running into the mud. That is, that, my guys. job, no, my no, job no, is no. to help preserve family. So what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about what led up to the situation. What's going on in your life? Okay. How can I help you fix it? How can I help you with whatever problems you're having? I understand that your mother passed away. I understand grief. I understand how that works. What time is it? Let's start there. 410. Okay, so your I'll son's already have... picked up. By who? Your brother. Your brother. Because we couldn't get a hold of you. Okay, he, he came here. He came and tried try to find you. He's been calling you yeah. all day. Yeah, he and didn't there's even a note. And a note on your front door. And we can yeah, call. And we can call him. I have his phone. Yeah, number. it's not necessarily mm -hmm. that. It's simple. Well, I'm grateful. Believe me, my brother was my back. And I just I, need to know that your well, child's safe too, right? Like right. I, absolutely. And my my what just I guess is going to be another thing for my daughter's father to throw against me is that. If I go there right now, knowing me well with all, knowing that my son is not there, and legally I can't pick up my daughter, why am I coming to the, the, the aftercare when yesterday he and I saw each other at the school, he said, we'll talk in aftercare tomorrow. So now, once again, it's another curveball. I'm just taking L's, you know. Well, like unfortunately, I have to see the children. So. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. That doesn't bother me. That yeah. doesn't bother me. I understand because I appreciate it because I would love. I mean, your daughter's going to tell him anyway. My some lady from DCF came and spoke to me, right? Your daughter's going to tell um, her dad that. Right. Well, I mean, most likely, you know, I would hope. Yeah, she's she's honest. You met her. Yeah. She's amazing. Both of your kids are amazing. That's why I want to help you. Okay. Right. So let's Very get. Very smart. To, but what I'm what I'm also my only fear is each piece of the puzzle. Him and his mother. I mean, Ma'am, you just got to cooperate. You know what? You can never, you can never go wrong with cooperating. I, that's why I'm yeah. here. That's why okay. I'm here. And I'm gonna be honest. The judge knows. By law, this has to happen because yeah, yeah, no, no, that's what I'm here. Yeah, I so they can't really... hold it against you because this is already have, have been. Anytime kids are involved in an arrest, we automatically have to notify DCF. Right. I don't know if it was us, but by law, we have to notify okay. DCF. Okay. So the judge already knows that by law because the kids were in prison. I don't want them to. Arrested, right. That, and I just don't it, want them to add that as another. It, it can't be. Making me okay. another more horrible so human than I am. This, this is this is how you turn that. Okay. Okay. You cooperate with her. Oh. Okay. Like I like I, you seem like you're you're very friendly I'm and sorry. everything. You know, like I said, your kids speak very highly of you. But I the like more you. Shoes. My daughter having a pink. That's what she me. said. <laughs> ah! uh, the more the more you cooperate though, the, the judge will look and be like, okay, like she really is trying hard to get her kid back. So and here's the deal. Mm -hmm. I offer you a drug screen, you take it, say you, you flunk for alcohol, you flunk for whatever. It just will be alcohol because I don't we'll, play we'll, no we, we, we do a SAC assessment, okay? They so when we do a SAC assessment, what they do is they offer you services. So then you go and do the SAC assessment, you tell them everything going on in your life. My mother just died, I started, you know, drinking more, and I'm having trouble coping, and then they offer you services, right? And then you fulfilled your responsibility, mm -hmm. okay? And then that shows your protective capacity for wanting to help your children. Right. Okay? But 
I'm sorry, go ahead and ask me. You were asking questions earlier, my mind's everywhere. So. Okay. so let's just start off and just tell me what happened to Taco Bell. So you um, walked down to Taco Bell with your kids. Yes, because it was late and I knew it had court in the morning and I just did not. Hey, look. Is this your truck? Yes. You mind if I put my laptop on and start typing? Okay. You good with that? Okay. Okay, I just, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> yes. Um, but no, I'm not working on it. I do. Honestly, like 95% of the people I go out with know me. Like real talk, I can go to 2121, I can go to 18. Everybody knows me. I go to the other side, I'm a celebrity. God damn. I would admit it's too. Huh? I would admit it's too. You see, yeah, it feels good, real. doesn't it? I do. I'll did. tell you what, this is a true story. My first year on, on 52nd Street, mm. all the drug dealers up there, and all the prostitutes threw me a block party for my birthday party. They had cake, barbecue catered. That's how you really know you made it. Yeah, you made it. I didn't need it. You I didn't need it. I took a plate, went and dumped it, and brought it back. <laughs> but huh? they threw me a block party. Oh, but yeah. listen, and don't know what you feel like. Baby. What? Oh, no, no, no. It's somebody gonna do something. I guess I'm for that day. Oh no, I don't. Yeah. Just there were some sketchy so people that I didn't know. Oh. And yeah, I honestly, I everybody on Broadway, like, 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 the, if you go to Broadway right now, everybody will tell you. I used to manage the damn apartments right there on Twenty Fifth and Broadway. Oh, they're for secret. Over there, right by next door, this mm -hmm. is See? What's up, buddy? Get it? Josh? Look, there's confirmation. say, look, What up, buddy? I If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out our last video. And if you'd like to see the uncensored version of our videos plus more crazy content, sign up for our Patreon. The link is in the description below. You know who has it. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs>